Bali is one of the most beautiful and spiritual places I've ever been. And I think both me and Andrew knew that it was going to be beautiful, that it was going to be spiritual. And we make a lot of our decisions based on a feeling. And when we thought to get married in Bali, everything just felt right. It's just the perfect place to get married. It, it brings out all of the emotions that you have uh, when you're standing up there on the altar. And it's just the perfect background for all of that. I just couldn't imagine getting married anywhere else. I love you. You've been the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. You're beautiful and elegant and chic, but what I've really fallen in love with is your adventurous spirit and compassionate awareness. You rejuvenate me and challenge me in ways that keep me excited about how we'll grow old together. Your generosity and selflessness has helped me better understand who I am and given me something to strive for. I promise to do my best to always understand and trust you and support the person you are and the person you'll continue to grow into in the same way that you've always done for me. These past few years, you've powered through some of the worst things imaginable with the grace and courage that everyone around you admires. While I can't promise to be as strong as you, I do promise to try and find that same resilience you've always had and to help us get through whatever else comes our way. And underneath that tough, fearless exterior is one of the most hilarious people I've ever met. Nothing makes me happier than making you laugh, or at least trying to make you laugh. I promise to stop, never stop trying to make you laugh, whether you actually do or not. <laughs> I promise to be vulnerable and listen to you when we have disagreements. And I promise to set aside my ego and communicate, compromise, and do what's best for us and our family, no matter what comes our way. Can't wait for what our future holds, and I promise to always love you and stand by your side. I love you, Winnie. I used to say this in the beginning of our relationship as a joke, but I have to say it again now. In all this time we've known each other, I've never gotten sick of you. <laughs> and I know it's not the most romantic or sweetest thing to say, but I think what I really mean when I say that is that I still have that same feeling from our very first date. That feeling that I never wanted the day to end. <laughs> that we could talk for hours or for forever. We had such a connection, and everything felt so right and complete. And now, nearly eight years later, I'm still not sick of it. <laughs> and I promise I never will be. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You have made me so happy and proud. I loved watching you become the man you are today. You have such a good heart. You're so kind, 
giving, supportive, and you make me smile and laugh. Nobody else can. Thank you for always making me feel like I'm special in love. Thank you for always making me feel safe when I'm in your arms. You've taught me how to be strong and how to be a strong partner. You've shown me that we can get through some of life's toughest challenges as long as we do it together. Our lives and our relationship will not always be perfect, but together, I promise we can get through anything. We've all already proven that, and I promise that we can do it over and over again. Professor to now pronounce them husband <laughs> and wife. Andrew, you may choose your wife. always respect you, care for you, support you, appreciate you, and never take you, our love, or our marriage for granted. I promise to be your partner through good times and bad. I promise to always fight for us and never give up on our love. I promise to always love you, even when I'm hungry. <laughs> you have made me so happy, and I feel so fortunate to have built a life with you and call you my best friend, and now husband, I promise to love you forever.